Fish on. Oh, my tip up, my flag, my flag. Oh, it's big. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Doby here coming at you with another video. Today, we are on the ice in northern Saskatchewan. Got the tent all set up. So I actually went out to film this video about three, four days ago on a different lake just south of here. And I ended up getting stuck. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. And I do have some footage from that. So before we get into this video, I'm going to show you guys some footage from the previous day of me getting stranded on the lake. So I'll roll that footage now. Just got my shack set up for the first time ever. I've never used this thing. It was a little bit stressful. I've never fit ice fished this lake before. I'm convinced there's no fish here. Been jigging for hours now. I honestly think I'm gonna head back and get the truck and drive to the south end of the lake and try and catch some fish because I really want to put some fish on the ice. Just obviously none here, so. Well guys, I'm completely stuck. Been here for about two hours. I just called the tow truck company and they're coming to get me. So that's how my day's going. How's your day going? Live to fight another day, I guess. So as you can see, I got stuck on this ice even. It doesn't look like a whole lot. But when you look underneath, my whole frame's caught up. And this is like a rock. I'm not sure if it's ice or a rock or both. But as you can see, I gotta get over that hump and I can't. Completely stuck. Runner is down, boys. Made it out. I'm already getting hungry, guys. Not marking any fish on the fish finder. I kinda... Oh, there's one. There's a fish. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, he got off! Fish is back, showing up at like 10 feet right off the bottom. I can't get him to bite my fucking hook though. We got him. Let's go! First fish of the fucking season. How about that? Just a little baby, but oh man, that feels good to finally get a fish. Let's go! Yes! Oh my god! Yes, dude! Yes! Finally, guys! Oh! Just a little guy, but oh my god, that makes me so happy. Probably check if my bait's still there. I just got struck hard. I was just on my phone texting my buddy, letting him know I got my first fish of the season, and I just got, like, attacked, and I, I reacted pretty good, I thought, but... Obviously not good enough. I'm gonna reel up and just see if my bait's still on. No, it's not. It got snagged. There's fish down there though, so let's catch another one. Just gonna let that rattle bait sit there. No. Well, I have a little snack. It's on the menu for today. Layer bar. Let's be honest, layer bars are on the menu every time I go camping or go anywhere. Oh, they're so good. Drop a like for Christmas oranges. They're the goat. Okay, I'm gonna keep fishing. If I see a big mark, we'll tune back in. You know what, guys? I totally forgot. I gotta go set up my tip up. So I'm gonna go drill a hole for this outside and set it up. Let's go. No, please don't give me grease, Jiffy. Do what you're supposed to. Okay, it's set up. Catch a big pike. Let's get back in the shack. It's cold out here. Fish on. Oh, it's a pike. I can cut. Yeah. It's fighting. Come on. Yes! Let's go, baby! Woo! Woo! Pretty much a keeper, though. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Let's go, baby! 
Second fish of the day. How you doing? Come on. Drew, we're going to keep him. I'm going to go throw him outside. And it's super cold out. He'll freeze quick. It'll be a pretty painless death. Yes, dude. Let's go. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, it's like negative 20 four degrees outside right now and when it's that freaking cold it's a very humane death for the fish if you just put them outside the hut and let them uh, freeze to death you know they go very quick they go very painlessly and it's you know it's a very humane death so what i just did don't think they're like going suffering i i, I could bonk them with something but i don't have a bonker this, this is all i have and this isn't gonna kill them quick enough odds are i'm gonna have to hit them like 15 times with it and it's gonna be a lot more painful death let's go we got dinner he was he's a little skinny but he, he'll have some decent meat on him and now i've never filled it a pike before so we'll see how that goes but let's go guys i'm so happy man i knew it was a pike as soon as i had him on he was fighting pretty hard okay well uh let's get back down there shall we i just got freaking smoked again i missed him because i was on my phone i'm gonna reel up and see if i got my bait on there still bit it off I'm liking the orange whistler jig though i'll tell you that much hopefully he comes back he's probably hungry the way he hit that hook oh my god it was aggressive just hammered it fish on fish on pull the transducer out Oh my god, calm down, calm down, calm the fuck down, buddy. Causing a scene in here, buddy. Well, third fish of the day. Just as a little baby, little pike there, hey? Hammered it hard, though. You can go back now, buddy. He's flopping everywhere. He made my heater go out, frick. He got it all wet. I gotta get back down there. There's fish down there. Another fish. Oh, he got, he got off. What the hell? No way he got off again. Every time I go to put my rod down or just like, you know, because I'm trying to get the heater going and stuff, a fish comes and attacks me. I mean, I'm not complaining. I don't know how I lost that one. He, I had him up to like three feet and then he got off. I'm setting the hook, right? Like, I don't know. I wasn't doing wrong. Because that's... Oh, my tip up, my flag, my flag. My tip up. Oh, it's big. Feels big. Yes! Yeah, baby! Look at that! Look at that fish! Look at that fish! Oh my god! Yeah, baby! Let's go on the tip, my baby! Yes! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I gotta go and get my pliers. Yes! Holy shit, okay. I need a glove. Calm down. Take it easy. Holy shit. I've never caught a fish on the tip up before. Never in my life. He absolutely swallowed this hook. Woo! On the tip up, baby. That's a keeper. That's a beautiful pike. Oh yeah. That's a keeper, baby. We're eating good tonight. I can't believe I got one on the tip up, guys. Oh my god. I'm beyond happy right now. I froze my hand. I need to get this heater going. You guys, I just literally, oh my god, I was just getting ready again and I, I put my hook back down and I got bit off by a fucking pike. This is ridiculous right now. There's so many fish down there. He bit off my hook. This is crazy. Like, I'm not trying to fish for pike, but I might have to put a leader on because that's all I'm catching right now. He just attacked it too. Like, this is so crazy, guys. The action right now is insane. I just can't stay on top of it. My batteries are going dead, the tip up going off. I haven't even got the the tip up set up again. Like I can't get my heater going. It's got water all over it and the pilot light keeps going out. I'm not sure what the issue is. It might have to do with the cold propane as well, but let's get a minnow on here and get back down there. This is ridiculous. Jig and a minnow though seems to be the play today. As soon as I switched to a jig and a minnow, everything just started freaking going crazy, man. The heater's working, let's go. Let's hope the pilot light stays lit. I'm gonna get it uh, 
to a decent temperature in here and then I'm gonna go set up my tip up again. That was a crazy little sequence there guys, just non-stop like and it's still like I, I just got a bite five minutes ago like I need to regroup here <laughs> just come back down to earth it's really intense for me man it's a lot of fish at once i think that's new pb for me like fish through the ice i've never caught this many fish through the ice and it's only like 12 o'clock what's that four fish three pike one walleye let's go guys look at us go went from having the worst day ever on bittern to just having such an amazing day today guys so happy right now so one of these tip up hooks is currently halfway down that pike's throat good thing i got multiple because i'm gonna go set up that tip up again so how did i do it i put it put one through the mouth like that i don't even know what i'm doing with this to be honest guys i've seen this in the clayton schick video where he put it through the mouth but i forgot what he did with this one so i caught that last guy i just kind of put it through his belly eh? i had it something like that so I'm gonna go hook this up to the tip up outside, guys. Yeah, so I just got a leader on here so I can just hook this up easily. Put that on. Send the schmelt down the hole. Oh, I had it on this one here. Let's hope it catches us another fish, eh? That's dinner right there. <laughs> Come on, fish on. Fish on, fish on, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a walleye. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Yes! <laughs> yeah, baby! Yes! Oh, that's a beautiful walleye. Oh my god, we're keeping that. Oh, that's a perfect eater, man. Are you kidding me? Let's go! Oh my god, what a day we're having! Yes, dude! I'm so fucking happy right now, man. And he didn't splash everywhere and put on my heater. Thank you, man. Respect. Respect, my G. You know, I can respect someone like that. And he just barely hooked it there. Let's go. What a beautiful fish, man. Add him to the boneyard. Fucking right, man. Oh my god, I'm just, the bite today is just unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. I need to take a little break and have a sandwich because I'm starving. It's about, I think it's about 1.45 right now. I just got a little uh, almond butter and jam sandwich on some sourdough. Not a PB&J, a AB&J. Mm-hmm. I was reeling up to see if I had bait still, and I watched, and he was following me all the way up, and then I, he just hammered it. And so I set the hook, and it just snapped, like he just took it. Still marks down there. I need to get down there ASAP, Rocky. Oh, there's a mark. He came back. He came back. Fish on, baby. I think it's a walleye again. Oh, I'm stuck in my transducer. Oh, my God. He got off. Fish on, fish on. It's a pike. I think it's a good size. He's fighting pretty hard. Come on, baby. Get your head through the nice size. Don't fight. You're not putting on my heater. Oh yeah, that's a fucking keeper, baby. That's another keeper. Woohoo! Let's go, man. What a day we're having. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, that's a keeper. I'm keeping that. Oh fuck, I, I, he was slipping. I didn't want to get my hand in his freaking mouth, man. Their teeth are no joke. I had to chuck them there. That was not, that was not <laughs> brutality. I had to do what I had to do there. Woo, just hammered him today, man. 
Oh my goodness, this is the best day of fishing I have ever had. And you guys are coming along for the ride. How about that, eh? I'm just having too much goddamn fun right now. <laughs> when you're catching fish like this, can you really have a bad time? Like this? This is what I live for, man. This is what I freaking live for. Let's get back down there. Why not? That pike wasn't getting my freaking hook this time, man. Ain't no way, boy. I put that steel leader on there. You ain't coming off. Come hell or high water, I'm catching that fish, man. Down there, big mark. Fish on. No, he's off. He didn't take my bait, though. Get back down there. Fuck, I got excited there. I said fish on before I had him on. There we go. Another nice walleye. Too bad we're at limit. Woo! Look at that, baby. Look at that beautiful fish. We're at limit, so I'm gonna send this guy back home. Come on. Oh, strong. Let's go! Go check on the tip up and make sure everything is okay. Well, people out here, two guys just over here with their truck. I guess I could have drove out, eh? Maybe next time. Okay. Tip up's frozen to the ground. Give it a good boot here. Oh my god, there's a fish on it. It felt like it anyway. What the hell, is there a fish on? Oh my god. I think there is. There is. Oh my god. There's so much line out. Oh my god, guys. There's a fish on. Woo! Woo! That's a tank! That's a fucking tank! Oh my god! Oh my god, I gotta go get my pliers. I gotta go get my pliers. Time! Oh my god. Okay. Okay, calm down. Okay, buddy. Let's get this fucking. Oh, he swallowed it just. Yeah, we're keeping him. We gotta keep him. He's a little too big, but like, fuck, we have to at this point. He's gonna die. This is a big pike. This is the biggest pike I think I've ever caught. Oh, he's heavy. Strong. Oh, look at that thing. That's a beast. You're gonna feed a lot of families with this meat, buddy. Don't worry. I just gotta show the viewers. Look at this tank. Oh my god, on the tip up, baby. We gotta keep him, he's a little too big for me to like to keep, but he swallowed it and he's bleeding really bad. We gotta keep him, there's no way I could get him back healthy. He just completely swallowed the hook. That was ridiculous, you guys. I was just pulling and pulling, and then I felt weight on there, and then I felt someone go, and I realized that I pulled up like so much line, and I'm like, I didn't let that much line out. It's not that deep. And then there was a pike on the other end of it, and it was a big pike. I'm gonna go measure it to see, but oh my god, like I wouldn't like to keep a fish that big, but just like the other one, he completely swallowed it. Like that must have been in his mouth for a while because the flag didn't go off. He kept biting down. Pike do this thing when. They completely swallow a hook, they'll bite down and they don't let you in their mouth and when it's that deep, there's nothing I can do. How about that though guys? Never caught a fish on a tip up in my life. I catch two today. We're up to nine fish for the day, I think. I'm gonna go measure that guy outside. That's a 34 inch pike, man. Oh my God, that's a fucking tank. That's a PB, baby, that's a PB. 34 inch pike, holy crap, that's a PB guys, that's the biggest fish I've ever caught in my whole life. Oh, battery died on the GoPro. What the hell, is this one dead too? I think we might be able to GoPro batteries guys, it's just not turning on. They were all fully charged, maybe because of the cold from last time. My batteries aren't turning it on, so I think that's it for the GoPro footage for today guys, that's pretty unfortunate. Fish on, it's a pike.
finally got the freaking hook out. I'm keeping him. That's limit, baby. Oh my goodness, man. It's been such a struggle today trying to get these hooks out. They've just been annihilating them. We're filling the freezer before Christmas. All my relatives are coming home, so this isn't all for me. I'm going to feed all my relatives coming home, feed them some nice fresh fish from uh, northern Canada. I think they'll enjoy it. I think I'm going to get going, guys. It's about 4 p.m. right now. Sun goes down at about 4.45. Um, I was going to stay for the night bite, but I got limit already. It would be fun to stay for the night bite. But my GoPro is dead, so I can't even get you guys any sweet footage anymore. And I wouldn't mind getting an early start on the drive and not having to drive in the dark completely. So I think I'm going to pack up now. So I'll see you guys when we're in the truck. Oh, we got another pike on the tip up. Holy shit. I got to go get my pliers. I was just trying to put it away i got everything going away and we pulled in another pike oh my god i was like i'm gonna be so jacked if there's a i swear to god if there's a fish on the end of this line look at this <laughs> you're joking you're actually joking man oh you got some fight in you last one is Made it back, baby. Wedding, that was a good hike. Get the stuff loaded up and get out of here, shall we? What an amazing day, guys. Honestly, I was just feeling Super blessed. All right, we made it home. Hey guys, if you made it this far into the video, I'd really like to thank you for taking your time out of the day to watch my content. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. It really helps me out. Next time we get on the ice, I think it'll be a uh, camp overnight, kind of catch and cook kind of style. So stay tuned for that. If you really enjoyed today's video, it would mean a whole lot to me if you could hit that subscribe button. Uh, stay tuned for more content like this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.